Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Hong Kong is a world-class cosmopolitan city driven by commerce and trade. Education is becoming increasingly important in securing a job in this fast-paced city. Um, according to the um, um, educational bureau, they were expected um, all the schools provide quality education. So they have um, a system called um, quality assurance system. They will go to um, the school to investigate their performance so that they have to achieve a uh, certain standard to make sure that they can provide quality service for the student. But for the international school, they may uh, follow a different standard from the uh, international level. It depends on the, which nation they um, uh, the, uh, the curriculum and the standard of teaching and also uh, what they're going to expect to teach their children. Throughout the years, people have developed different opinions about the most effective form of education. The Hong Kong education system is divided into generally two types of schools, local government schools and private international schools. Local government schools are fully funded by the Hong Kong government and are taught mainly in Cantonese with English as a secondary language. Local students are placed in three different bands of secondary schools according to their internal assessment results and their parents' choice. Despite the different bands, each local school is taught with the same system, with similar courses provided. Everything is taught by a set system, decided by the government, and students are required to study in core subjects which include Chinese, English, mathematics, and liberal studies, as well as three elective subjects. <laughs> 那些企業運用、巨星、或者資料、語言傳譯掌握曬 with this set system in place, local government schools are often described as extremely competitive in terms of academics. Meanwhile, at private international schools, the education system is completely different. Since international institutions are not funded by the government, each school has their own choice of courses, instead of having a strict set teaching system. Unlike local schools, international schools teach with English as the primary language, with some sections bilingual in German, French, and Cantonese. As for flexibility uh, in teaching, um, I can't say too much about the local schools, but I, I, um, I've taught in international schools, and I think um, it's been a lot of emphasis on creativity. So the teachers are always encouraged to come up with new ways to present a lesson and to come up with creative and fun um, ways to engage the students. So I think there's definitely a lot of creativity in terms of how we teach in the classroom. The main thing is that we have to teach the students something. So there's standards and expectations, but in terms of how we teach them, I think there's a lot of flexibility. The courses um, that are offered at an international school and the courses that are offered in a local school, I know that, um, especially in the high school level, I think high school courses offered in international schools are, are more diverse. Just a couple of years ago in the local schools, they introduced the new course called Liberal Studies, which they hadn't had before. And it was a relatively new course, and it was kind of um, encouraging independent critical thinking about current events and world issues, which I think for the longest time in, in an international school curriculum, we have had many courses on um, history and, and 
uh, kind of liberal studies and, cr and to encourage critical thinking. So I think the local school system is kind of catching up in that direction. So there are, there are some courses um, at the local school that are offered like that. Mainly due to the Asian culture, there is already an established sense of hierarchy when it comes to teacher and student relationships. In public local schools in Hong Kong, students are required to bow to teachers every time a class begins and ends. In addition, the staff rooms are not only separated far away from classrooms, but students are also not allowed to enter without permission, unless they're class monitors. With these rules given, students' interactions with teachers have been hugely decreased and minimized to the point where their only interaction occurs in a classroom during class time. On the other hand, international students tend to have a closer relationship with their teachers. Students aren't afraid to talk to teachers here, it seems like. Uh, very open to, um, you know, ask questions or seek advice or, um, you know, have more of a personal interaction rather than a, a big gap between the two. The working environment at international schools is also very tight-knit and friendly. Besides the close relationship between students and teachers, the faculty and staff also have a friendly bond between each other. Um, I think it's a fact that international school they are more resourceful in terms of uh, um, they can have a better um, uh, campus and facilities, and also um, they will have our, um, they have to match the international level. And the one for language is also. Uh, very good, especially for um, English. And um, we know that um, they charge much the school fee, right? From uh, 20,000 to 10,000 per year. But in Hong Kong, the local school, they are free education. No need to pay unless they um, uh, want to choose the private uh, center school. They have to pay maybe thousands uh, for a year. So in terms of resources, we know that the uh, international school um, is an, an advantage for the students. And also, they have um, the support uh, from their parents, maybe by donation or they have some fundraising and they have more money to uh, employ the teachers with higher um, educational qualification. Since local government schools funding comes from the government, resources have to be wisely planned and conservatively spent. With limited people, space and money, Students with the same interests often gather together to hire their own teacher who would come into their school to conduct extracurricular classes with them. For sports, students also come down together and arrange everything on their own, from forming the sports teams to seeking coaches, locations, and also reaching out to other schools for inter-school competitions. International schools have an advantage as resources are abundant due to high education fees they receive from parents monthly. I think in international schools, they, they promote the development of the individual more than uh, in local schools. For example, we have uh, different sports teams and clubs that we can develop the areas besides the academic. Like, uh, for example, um, since I play a lot of football outside of school, uh, it's, it causes a lot of stress on my uh, academics. So actually the school has helped me and they've given me less credits. Like after, they require me less credits. Campuses are averagely larger in comparison to local government schools. Therefore, students are able to enjoy various activities at appropriate and suitable locations comfortably. International schools also take pride in their facilities, such as sports fields, gyms, fitness rooms, music halls, theaters, media labs, science labs, ceramics labs, and others. After-school activities are also sponsored by the school, along with organizations that assist in arranging inter-school competitions as well, most notably the ISSFHK that is in charge of sports competitions. Besides activities that are school-related, local students are also required to have a certain amount of community service hours in order to meet their credit requirements. For international schools, there tends to be more service opportunities both inside and outside of school, and some even overseas. Other than service opportunities, international schools also host different activities that boost school spirit and
and give students a chance to interact outside of the classroom. These activities include gym games, dress-up days, and competitions. So which education system is superior above the other? Everybody is entitled to their own opinions, but based on the fields explored earlier, it's safe to say that international schools provide a better quality of education. However, it's also important not to forget the astronomical cost of attending an international school, at which point a local school might be a wiser consideration.